What is good, lovers of all things fragrant? No messing around this time. This time we're jumping right in. And it definitely is precious. This fragrant journey begins right now. Let's go. Man, I, <laughs> oh man, you guys must think that I have like a couple of screws loose, but you know what? I don't care. This is yet another reason why this is my favorite friggin' house ever. Banger after banger after friggin' banger. This house just continues to release home runs left right up down sideways backwards you name it it's out of the park every single release this is no exception obviously i'm gonna go ahead and get this thing on the way but before i do here come the notes it's a busy one stand by Welcome back guys. Once again, Precious Oud. Um, brand new release by me and Sarah. I've had this fragrance now for going on a month now. And um, I do not think it's been released yet. At the, at the posting of this video, I do not think it's been officially released. In fact, you're not even going to find it on me and Sarah's website. However, I got my hands on it. And here's what's happening. Right out of the gate. I am greeted with an absolute monstrous blast of citruses, oud and leather. Boom. And it's hot and heavy and it is in your face. Absolutely beautiful. The good news is for those of you that don't like oud, stick around. This is not the barnyard oud everybody talks about. This is not the skanky oud. This is not the oud that, you know, uh, makes a lot of, uh, let's say, uh, conservative fragrance wearers, uh, you know, uh, get, get all up in arms. Not that type of oud. This oud is of the Laotian variety. I'm not sure what that means. I know that there are a ton of variables where oud is concerned. This is a very smooth oud fragrance. Even if you don't like oud, you will enjoy this. As I was gonna say, that oud note is going to bury itself, not deeply, but just enough to make way for those mid notes. Now, if you look at the tears of this fragrance, you will see that whiskey, yes, whiskey is in the top tier, not on my skin. On my skin, the booze, specifically, again, the whiskey does not make its way into the party until about an hour, maybe 90 minutes into this fragrance. Despite what you see in the no breakdown. On me, it doesn't get boozy until about 90 minutes into this fragrance. But when it does, it is unmistakable. It is gonna be a cornucopia of notes, okay? When that whiskey does kick in, it's gonna merge with florals, bright florals. Okay, and then the fragrance is gonna get dark with a little bit of skank. In fact, I'm gonna take that back. It's a significant amount of skank, that being the patchouli. Now, a lot of you might challenge me and say that patchouli is not really a skanky note on my skin. It absolutely is. It is gonna get skanky. So basically what you're gonna be left with 
uh, you know, within the first 90 minutes, bright citruses, leather, and smooth oud, right? Sounds like a friggin' R&B group. Once those flows kick in, they're gonna cut the edge off of the harshness of the leather and the, uh, the, the tangy, the tangy uh, citruses. And then, once that happens, it's gonna start to get woody. That's another hour later into this fragrance. Starts to get woody, and then it starts to sweeten up. Significantly, vanilla and amber will sweeten this fragrance up real nice. All of these notes are gonna play good together. All right? Nothing really dominant, nothing that really stands out, and you know, uh, other than the beginning of this fragrance. But once these uh, fragrance notes start to, to come together, very smooth, very seamless. This is an unbelievable smelling fragrance. The scent is insane, absolutely insane. Again, even if you don't like oud, you're gonna love this fragrance. If, um, you, you should, if you don't, I, I get it, everybody's different, but this is a stunner to me. One of the greatest releases of 2019, in my opinion. Ladies, you can absolutely get away with wearing this if you care about that whole masculine, feminine, and specific notes are not for women crap, uh, and vice versa. The Magnolia is the standout floral here. Now I know I said that nothing particularly stands out, but you can absolutely detect Magnolia. It is a beautiful friggin' floral, absolutely stunning. Roses, the roses laying in the cut, and souls of violet. The Magnolia is the big player, where the florals are concerned. Creamy at the end of this fragrance with the sandalwood. Gets, uh, gets sweeter. Um, the moss, I do not get at all. All right, I do not get any moss. Maybe you will, I don't know. But this is a banger. Longevity, um, you're talking like, and, and oh, before we even go there, Let's understand that this fragrance is not the monster that most man Sarah's are. This is kind of the middle of the road where projection is concerned. Your mileage may vary. Not a monster, not gonna fill ballrooms, doesn't have to. Beautiful fragrance, you can wear this anywhere, right? Doesn't matter. Don't ask me about like stuff like, oh, can you wear it to clubs on a date? Whatever, whatever you know, however you want to wear it, you do it, it doesn't matter. Just smell good. Unfreaking believable. Another banging release by me and Sarah. Um, as I was saying, you're gonna get about 10 to 12 hours. Uh, six to eight of those are gonna be solid with a bubble jumping off your skin, uh, maybe 12 to 14 feet, maybe a little more. Again, not gonna fill ballrooms, but it will fill a small room. And again, I know I said that nothing particularly stands out like really, really hardcore. But the three notes you are absolutely <laughs> gonna get are uh, the whiskey, the leather, and the oud. This note combination you don't see in a lot of Mansara fragrances. In fact, it is the only boozy oud by this house. This fragrance is ridiculous. Alcohol and oud mixed together. Never heard of that combination before. At least not from Mansara. It is an absolute Remarkable fragrance. One of the best in this house. Absolutely incredible. It is remarkable. Unlike any man, Sarah. I know I've said that before ad nauseum. I know because every one of these is different. But this fragrance is absolutely phenomenal. Once again from the house of man, Sarah. Precious oud. My next review is soon. I will talk to you guys later. Love you,